So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I am uh, going to deliver one uh, uh, lecture on uh, one of the most important crop of our country, that is cotton. As you know, that cotton is occupied uh, more than one crore and twenty lakh hectares area. That is the uh, most important crop of the country. And the side to side, uh, soybean is also cultivated on more than uh, one crore and ten to fifteen lakh hectares area. So these two crops occupied more than seventy percent area in the country. So today I am going to. Uh, I think most of the participants are belongs to the cotton cultivated tracts of the country. So uh, as you know that the, there are four cultivated uh, species, and uh, amongst uh, that, Gossypium arboreum and Gossypium herbaceum. These are the two diploid species, whereas uh, Gossypium hirsutum and uh, Gossypium barbadans are two Egyptian species. So there are total 50 species uh, are uh, available in the cotton in the all around the world. Out of that, 46 are wild species, and only four species are cultivated. And uh, just uh, for your information, that India is the only country which is growing all the four cultivated species. In rest of the world, only Egyptian cotton or American cotton is cultivated. Whereas in India, still now we are having cultivating for though the area under this diploid cotton is reduced. But we are going uh, cultivating all the four species and having unique distinction in uh, all over the world. Apart from that, I just uh, also want to share that uh, India is the only country in the world uh, where we are cultivating hybrid cotton. In rest of the world, we are generally cultivating these state varieties. But India is the only country which is uh, growing hybrid uh, cotton, and that to the extent of ninety-eight to ninety-nine percent. So as, as I already told that at the time of independence, you just see the scenario of how this cotton scenario has been changed over hundred years in the country. At the time of independence, these deshi cottons they are grown to the extent of ninety-seven percent. That is Gossypium arboreum and Gossypium herbaceum, and hirsutum cotton at that time are grown uh, only to the extent of two to three percent, and rest of the all in over the India only deshi cotton was grown. But from the middle of the 19th century, this tetraploid species of cotton, that is Gossypium hirsutum and Gossypium barbadans, were introduced in the country. Why? With an object to increase the productivity as well as the production of superior fiber quality to fulfill the needs needs of the modern textile industries. Whatever the textile industries were set up by the uh, Britishers, they want to introduce these long staple cottons because our deshi cottons they are short staple. Uh, and uh, very low fiber strength so they introduced this american cotton in the country with an uh, object to uh, produce long staple cottons so as to fulfill the needs of the textile industries but at that time one of the renowned scientists hutchinson 1947 warned that in future introduction of these american american species may imbalance the cotton species scenario of the country However, he advised that if the fiber qualities of deshi cotton has been improved to the level of American cotton, we can fulfill the need of the textile industries. But in India, we can witness the major change in every two to three decades in the cotton cultivation scenario. The major change is, uh, change is that shift in the species. As I have told earlier, we have shifted uh, our cultivation from diploid to tetraploid. Diploid means these two de deshi species, arboreum. And herbaceum having chromosome number two n is equal to twenty six, whereas these two tetraploid species they are uh, uh, having belongs to uh, Gossypium hirsutum and uh, Gossypium barbadans having chromosome number two n is equal to fifty two. That's why they are called as deshi cotton has been called as diploid species, whereas this American cotton has been called as tetraploid species. Later on, this American cotton after introduction into the country they have dominated over the deshi cotton. Later on, the introduction of hybrid technology by Dr. C. T. Patel during 97 further collapsed the varietal scenario of both deshi and American cotton varieties. Some area has been uh, remain under these deshi cotton varieties and hirsutum uh, state varieties, but after introduction of uh, this hybrid cotton, these hybrids were dominated over uh, American cotton varieties as well as these deshi cotton varieties. And during 1980s to 1990s, this intraspecific or intraspecific intraspecific means Gossypium hirsutum into Gossypium hirsutum, 
and gossypium uh, hirsutum into gossypium barbans that is called as interspecific and some of the popular hybrids at that time that is h4 that is hybrid cotton 4 nhh44 this nhh44 has been released from uh, vasanthrao naik maratwada krishi vidyapeet parbhani and uh, from nanded this is station from uh, where i am working presently and this nhh44 hybrid was dominated in that country of uh, cotton cultivated tracts of the country and 60% area of the country has been occupied by single hybrid at that time this is the dcs32 is the interspecific hybrid that is dharwad cotton hybrid again h6 these are the some of the hybrids they dominated the entire cotton cultivation of the scenario of the country for almost two decades thousands of laborers were engaged in the production of uh, hybrid seed in each and every state of the country most of the private seed companies were established and get flourished with the production and marketing of these public sector cotton hybrids across the country 90% staff of government seed certification agency particularly in madhya pradesh maharashtra and gujarat was involved in the certified hybrid seed production of the cotton only now at present this has reduced up to only 1 or 2% and rest of the all hybrid seed production areas has been take over by private seed companies in some uh, in uh, rajasthan and gujarat and telangana and uh, parts of andhra pradesh just i want to mention here two important projects uh, which was uh, launched by the our government of uh, india during 2000 one is uh, natp rcps 7 that is national agriculture technology project this was leaded by dr l desh pande one of the renowned scientists from cotton scientists from the country and another project was rcps 8 it was the leaded by dr b m khati from tharwad area under dishi cotton was started is to here main object of this project uh, launching of this project is to increase the area under dishi cotton and uh, with the efforts taken by under this projects this dishi cotton area was uh, started to spread slowly due to exhaustive conduct of on farm trials and extension activities under these projects by these most renowned and dedicated cotton breeders of the country Here the first uh, NATP RCPS seven uh, is uh, the title of the project was promotion of productive high quality gossypium arborium cotton to meet the needs of marginal cultivators of rainfed ecosystem reserves textile industry. Here the main object is the first the development of arborium genotypes which are having long staple which will be suited for the modern textile industries. This project was implemented in Central and South India and the performance of Deshi cotton varieties was evaluated extensively on the farmers field. for yield and fiber quality in comparison to the popular hirsutum varieties and hybrids at that time the bt cotton was not not launched in the country and only this non bt cotton uh, american cotton varieties and hybrids were cultivated and competition of desi cotton was with the american cotton state varieties and hybrids these improved arboreums developed in the project showed on uh, very excellent quality parameters with the which will match the hirsutum varieties and hybrids particularly fiber length fiber strength and macronear in case of cotton apart from yield the fiber properties are one of the most important criteria where the farmers get or fetch good price and the fiber are mainly three parameters generally required for any cotton hybrid or variety that is fiber length length of the fiber strength of the fiber and macronear that macronear means fineness if the more the more the fine more will get the smooth clothing if the macronear is high will get the very rough uh, rough type of clothing from that fiber so there is, the requirement is very high fiber length fiber strength and macronear so these arborium cotton which were developed under this project are, are having or fulfilling all these criteria higher monet monetary benefit and ecolo uh, ecological advantage of low pesticide because uh, this arborium cottons they are one of the advantage of arborium cottons are is that they are having tolerance for sucking pest they are 100% tolerance for sucking pest whereas this american cotton or tetraploid cotton they are 100% susceptible for sucking sucking pest this is the one of the main difference though this bowl uh, bowl worm infestation is uh, uh, is uh, is observed in both of the species but uh, this main advantage is uh, of arborium cotton or dishi cotton is that they are having sucking pest tolerance here we can see these are the four quality arboreums pa255 pa402 mdl2463 and dlss70 this pa varieties they are developed from parbani center 
एम डी एल टू फोर सिक्स थ्री फ्रॉम उधोल ऑफ तेलंगाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तेलंगाना स्टेट एंड डी एल एस ए सेवेंटीन फ्रॉम धारवाड सो इफ यू आई कैन सी द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस फोर वराइटीज दे आर दिस पी ए टू फाइव फाइव इट यूज ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट हाइयर सीट कॉटन और लोकल इंस्टूटम चेक्स थर्टी सेवन परसेंट मोर एल्ड देन लोकल इंस्टूटम हाइब्रिड and 10% over hirsutum uh, popular intra hirsutum hybrid at that time that is bunny that is 10.2% so we can see these popular arboreums they are competing well with the hirsutum varieties as well as as well as hybrids another character is that another uh, this uh, project is that uh, characterization and, and identification of productive and high quality cotton species or genotypes including gossip and herbaceum in the previous project more uh, more emphasis has been given on arboreum cotton whereas in nntp rcps 8 they have mainly tested herbaceum species that is the another diploid species uh, belongs to deshi cotton so dr b m khadi was the principal investigator for that project and this project was uh, in involved the six institutes and uh, this uh, mainly implemented at uh, dharwad gujarat Uh, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, and uh, this Andhra Pradesh. See, in the six six states, this project was implemented for four years, and the leading varieties from arboreum, herbaceum, hirsutum, and hybrids were evaluated under six environments. Here you can see that the study was already conducted. Now nowadays, we are proposing that we have to test uh, these uh, species under different environments. But this type of study was already done twenty years back. so the whatever uh, they have selected some of the good varieties from arboreum few varieties from herbaceum and uh, some intra hirsutum uh, hybrids and uh, intra specific hybrids and they were evaluated under uh, under six different environments that is deep soil plus high rainfall deep soil plus uh, low rainfall medium soil plus high rainfall medium soil plus low low rainfall shallow soil plus high rainfall and shallow soil plus low rainfall here the object is to identify which species is suitable for soil type as well as pattern of rainfall here this is the main, uh, main object is to identify the species not the varieties so that in the future they can promote these species on large scale cultivation based on the yield data and farmer preference a distinct shift was noted towards arboreums many farmers in the target districts took up seed production of their own here some of the looking to the performance of this deshi cotton many farmers uh, in the the project area they started the seed production of deshi cotton the on farm trials also convinced farmers with relatively lower cost of cultivation they can uh, get the same returns with the quality arboreums one of the major output emerged from the project is the listing of recommended species for different agro ecological zones as against the species and varieties currently used here in this table we can clearly see that under different uh, this these are the six uh, different situation and the varieties sahana and dc 32 from dharwad one bt variety recently launched at that time that is 184 bico 184 aka 8401 and gcot hybrid date and some of the varieties from private seed company they were evaluated under this different kind of situations and on the based, based on the three years three years pool data these arboreum genotypes they were adopted uh, very well and give good uh, results in case of shallow soil and low rainfall whereas this american uh, uh, varieties and hybrids they have perform and give good re results in heavy soil and high rainfall and suddenly again there was a very uh, this drastic shift was of uh, this witnessed in case of uh, cotton cultivation scenario th that is introduction of bt cotton during 2002 2003 here up till now this deshi cotton was uh, struggling for uh, uh, retention of their area and competing with uh, hirsutum varieties and hybrids but now the this suddenly introduction of bt cotton in the country again uh, major uh, Yeah, this uh, is one of the reason due to which this uh, area under the issue cotton was drastically reduced. The cotton cultivators adopted GM technology like a wildfire, leaving behind cultivation of non-BT state cotton varieties, non-BT hybrid cotton, and varieties of the issue cotton. With the launching of BT cotton, 
the area under non bt state varieties of american cotton non bt hybrids of american cotton and desi cotton varieties were completely stopped as a result of this the desi cotton area has been restricted up to only 5% during the year 2010-11 from 27% during 2000-2001 as i told earlier that during 1947 the area under this desi cotton was 97% now it was reduced up to only 5% during 2010-11 and at present if you see the current situation more than 97 to 98% area under cotton is dominated by single species that is gossypium hirsutum cotton hybrids with bolgar 2 gene on the other side the cotton crop of the country also witnessed outbreak of the pest that is sucking pest uh, uh, in northern india and ping bollworm across the country and diseases at present 1000 of hybrid cotton varieties were flooded in the market by hundred of private seed companies since 2002 but actually only few cotton hybrids were performing well in each and every state for production of higher seed cotton yield coupled with resistance to pest and diseases at present none of the hybrid in the country is showing resistance against spring bollworm if you can see the states the major cotton growing states are maharashtra madhya pradesh andhra pradesh telangana gujarat and north india here in uh, hundred or thousands of cotton hybrids are available in the market but all these hybrids are now become susceptible for ping bollworm however due to the strategy suggested by our universities and cici and nagpur we are we are uh, we have able to restrict the infestation of uh, ping bollworm in the country but by management practices only but genetically all the, these hybrids were uh, found susceptible as we know at the time of introduction of bt1 during 2002 or bollgard 1 these private seed companies claim that these hybrids were uh, having a resistance for three bollworms that is american bollworm spotted bollworm and ping bollworm and uh, during 2007 8 they introduced bollgard 2 technology claiming that it is also having resistance against spodoptera so at present the whatever bollworm uh, this bg2 hybrids available in the country they have to uh, show resistance against four type of bollworms but unfortunately the hybrid this uh, they are now become susceptible for ping bollworm ping bollworm and only at present they are showing resistance for against for only three types of bollworms that is american bollworm spotted bollworm and uh, this uh, spodoptera anyhow the strenuous efforts taken by central institute of cotton research uh, nagpur any sus who are who had given package or model for control of ping bollworm otherwise the situation of bt cotton may be similar to non bt cotton era before 2001 or 2002 but now also we have to undertake two to three spray for control of ping bollworm because uh, it was started the infestation from the at the time of flowering only from 40 to 45 days the ping bollworm infestation was started in the country in one or the other parts so we have to undertake two to three minimum two to three sprays chemical insecticidal sprays for control of these bollworms so in the present the present investigation efforts have been made to identify the most suitable species of cotton for seed cotton yield and related parameters and we have collected data of 31 years data of the trials conducted at nanded and parpani location and uh, we have collected the data from the, the this four uh, data of four species that is gossypium arboreum varieties gossypium hirsutum varieties the gossypium hirsutum and hirsutum that is uh, intrahirsutum hybrids and bt cotton hybrids for two decades for each year this is the methodology for each year grand mean value of seed cotton yield and related parameters were undertaken from each trial for calculating average of mean of 31 years for bt cotton that is bg1 and bg2 mean data of seed cotton yield was undertaken for 17 years of two decades from sau or icr bt cotton trials conducted at nanded location for each category data has been further partitioned into five year phase for computing seed cotton yield lean yield in comparison with the checks for each year mean of the all the entries in 31 trials has been taken to represent species along with the then existing check varieties of each trial likewise mean data of lean yield whole weight ginning autumn and staple length is also calculated here you can see the performance of uh, 
uh, arboreum cotton varieties for seed cotton yield and lean yield for three decades. Here, during 1990 to 1994, the seed cotton yield of arboreum varieties were 1160 kg per hectare and lean yield was 442 kg per hectare. There were a severe breakdown of in case of yield and uh, uh, this lean yield was observed during 2000 to 2004 and yield was uh, red, uh, is reduced up to 945 kg per hectare whereas lean yield was reduced up to 351 kg per, uh, per hectare. However, during 2015 to 2021, the average seed cotton yield of this gossipium arboreum varieties was 1265 kg per hectare whereas lean yield was 463 kg character. Similarly, this is the data of ginning outturn. Here we can see the slight reduction in the ginning outturn. During 1994, the, these the arboreum varieties, they are having very good ginners. That is 38.13% ginning outturn, which was slightly reduced to 36.68%. This is uh, mainly happens because we are given more emphasis in high yielding varieties. Uh, selection is the pressure is employed mainly on selection of varieties having high seed cotton yield and good fiber properties. If you improve the fiber properties, this is a ginning outturn has been, there is a negative correlation with ginning outturn and fiber properties. So here we can see the fiber properties has been improved from 26.17 to 28.68. This way, as we increase the fiber properties, the ginning cotton has been in decreased. So there is the negative correlation between these fiber properties and ginning cotton. This is the due to which uh, over the period of 30 years, the ginning cotton of these deshi cotton varieties has been reduced for 2%, that is 38 to 36%. Whereas we can increase the fiber properties, which is more required by the textile industries, modern textile industries, and we can increase the fiber properties from 26 mm to 28.627 mm. This is the performance of herbarium cotton varieties for gold weight for uh, three de decades. Here we can see we can also apply selection uh, pressure for development of varieties having good uh, bowl weight. So during 90 to 1994, the bowl, initially the bowl weight was 2.1, which was introduced up to 2.78. That is, we have presently re uh, re this uh, released the varieties having Arboreum cotton varieties having excellent fiber properties with coupled with good bowl weight, that is 2.8 gram. This is the second species, that is hirsutum cotton varieties. First, uh, we have seen the what is the improvement in arboreum. Now, the, here we can see there is uh, the performance of American cotton state varieties, non bt state varieties. During 90 to 94, it, the yield level was 1448 kg per, per hectare seed cotton yield. Lint yield was also good at that time, that is 575, and that was a drop, a drop in this uh, seed cotton yield uh, for, and also lint yield for two decades. That is mainly because here the BT cotton varieties were introduced, were introduced in the countries, and the, the infestation of bollworms was very high, and with a very high pressure was observed during these two decades. Uh, so, these uh, yield levels of hirsutum varieties has been drastically reduced. Whereas it was improved uh, slightly during 2005 to five, uh, 2009, that is 1375. And now in the last five years, these uh, yield levels are uh, 1171 kg per hectare of seed cotton yield and 428 kg of lean yield. However, the, these uh, yield level are low, but the area is also very low. As I told that 97 to 98% area under only BT cotton hybrids is uh, uh, available in the country and area under this non-BT state cotton varieties is very low. Less, that is less than 2%. That is only because they are the farmers are cultivating or growing organic cotton. They are preferring this non-BT cotton because, because for organic cotton, this BT cotton is not permitted. So whomsoever the some of the farmer farming groups, they are cultivating this American cotton varieties, but the area is very, very bigger. So at present, the yield levels are only 1171 kg per hectare and lean yield is 428 kg per hectare. Here the performance of American cotton varieties for fiber properties. The fiber properties for the 30 years is almost stable. Initially, it was 25.9 and now also it was around 25 to 26 mm. 
but the ginning cotton has been reduced here also as we witnessed in uh, this arborium cotton here also the initially the ginning cotton was around 40 percent in case of american varieties but now it was reduced up to 36 percent only here here in case of uh, our hirsutum cotton varieties the bowl size is drastically reduced the then the varieties the cultivating during 90 to 94 the bowl weight bowl weight was around 4 gram which was reduced up to only 3 gram because in most of the cotton is growing under this rain fed condition in maharashtra it is grown under more than 90% area is grown under uh, rain fed condition and in for in uh, rain fed situation the cotton varieties or hybrids having medium bowl size they are giving good yield Though the bowl size is reduced, but the number of bowls are increased. Uh, increased, and if we increase the bowl size, number of uh, bowl size, the number of bowls will be less, and that too uh, give good results in the case of irrigated uh, area, irrigated tracts. So far, in general, in rainfed, uh, in rainfed uh, tracts of the country, we can go for this sort of varieties or hybrids having medium bowl size. If we increase the bowl size, it will need the irrig frequent irrigation. And uh, high irrigated tracks or uh, wherever irrigation facilities uh, are available, we can go for big bowl size entries. Otherwise, for rainfed, the small bowl size uh, entries we are giving good seed cotton, uh, this uh, seed cotton yield. This is the performance of intra histotum cotton hybrids. Here also, the area is more than uh, the, this is less than 1%. Non BT intra, intra histotum cotton hybrids area is very, very low. And only uh, the, some of the this uh, organic cotton cultivators they are uh, cultivating this entire sort of cotton hybrids without BT. So here also we can see initially the area this seed cotton yield was 12 quintals per hectare, and lint yield was 440 kg per hectare, and which was at present there is uh, no not much so much difference in case of seed cotton yield. That it is 1134 kg per hectare and uh, see, this lint yield is uh, 409 kg per hectare, but area is very, very low in the country. Similarly, the Jenny cotton of this uh, intra, uh, this intra, uh, intra institute of cotton hybrid is the same, that is 36 to uh, over the three decades, it was remained the same plus or minus one uh, percent, and uh, fiber uh, properties uh, is also. Uh, slightly reduced as compared to the 1994, that is uh, fiber length was 27, which was reduced to 25.8 mm. Here, uh, the bowl weight of this American cotton hybrids is uh, slightly improved as compared to varieties. Initially, it was 3.56 and now it is also around 3.5 and these are the non BT uh, cotton hybrids. These are the data of bean seed cotton yield of BT cotton hybrids, that is BG1 and BG2. And it will, uh, this after 17 to 18 years, it was introduced during 2000 to 2004. Actually, it was introduced during 2002. Initial seed cotton yield was 626, which was suddenly increased up to 1447 kg per hectare. And again, there was a cessation was observed for uh, in case of seed cotton yield, uh, yield increase. And it was uh, 1106 during 2010 to 14, and at present it was 1589 kg per hectare. And this is the situation since last 10 years. The seed cotton yield has remained same or stable uh, for last 10 years in the country. Here we can see the comparative performance of uh, 31 years. This arborean varieties had given the seed cotton yield of 1326 kg per hectare which was almost at par with the BT cotton hybrids, that is 3074. However, the performance of hirsutum cotton varieties, non-BT cotton varieties and uh, intra hirsutum hybrids were very poor as compared to arborium varieties and BT cotton hybrids on an average of 13, 31 years of trials conducted at in Maratwada or Maharashtra. Similarly, the situation for lean tail, arborium varieties recorded highest lean tail, that is 493 kg per hectare, Followed by intra hirsutum hybrids 379 and hirsutum varieties 408 kg per hectare. Gening autumn of arborium varieties is around 37.2. Hirsutum varieties is 37.9 and intra hirsutum hybrid is 36.7.
the stem fiber properties of arborium varieties are almost similar to the histidium varieties and intra histidium hybrids as i told earlier that the mainly this uh, american cotton uh, varieties and hybrids were introduced in the country for improvement of fiber properties as this at that time the the cultivated varieties of arborium cotton they are having very inferior fiber properties but uh, due to the, the research work carried out uh, at uh, our parbani university dharwad university and in gujarat they are able to develop the varieties of arborium this uh, varieties of uh, this deshi cotton having very good fiber properties so at present we are having the varieties which are having a step and length of more than 32 mm that is pa 182 varieties released from our university this deshi cotton varieties is having longest step in the country or in the world nowhere in the world we are found the varieties having giving this step and length of 32 mm similarly fiber strength is 30 g per tex and macronear value is also around 4.2 to 4.5 so this type of work classical work of develop the improvement of genetic improvement of deshi cotton has been done at our university and by only by adopting conventional breeding methods not any molecular method methods we have adopted only by adopting this conventional practices only we have done the inter, this integration uh, breeding method uh, we have adopted by transferring the genes from american cotton into deshi cotton by giving the colchicine treatment to the this uh, deshi cotton varieties so that technology we have transferred the favorable traits of uh, fiber properties from american cotton into deshi cotton so this is the result of that we can see this american this deshi cotton varieties having fiber properties at par or even superior than the histidium varieties and hybrids here this is compared to performance of seed cotton yield lentil ginning autumn bold weight and staple length of uh, this four species here we can see that the arborium varieties they are given uh, higher seed cotton yield than uh, varieties of histidium cotton similarly for uh, they are uh, given more than 8.25% over histidium varieties 1.7% over histidium hybrids and 18% uh, higher seed cotton yield over bt cotton hybrids this is uh, this is this is based on the data of 17 years of trials we have conducted at marathwada region similarly for ginning autumn is also uh, at par of arborium varieties with histidium varieties and intra histidium hybrids as i told that bold weight has been slightly increased that is 2.93% over uh, uh, this uh, cultivated existing varieties 2.8% uh, over histidium varieties and 7.9% over histidium hybrids here in one of the this is another the interesting data we can compare this performance of uh, this arborium varieties histidium varieties histidium hybrids and bt cotton hybrids in the rainfall we have uh, under very uh, this uh, under normal uh, rainfall condition above nor normal condition and below normal condition so interestingly interest, uh, interestingly we can see that arborium this varieties they have given very good yield in below normal uh, rainfall so we can say that wherever the rainfall is uh, very low or under this uh, rain fed situation these deshi cotton varieties they are giving very good yield as compared to american cotton varieties and hybrids so in under below normal arborium varieties given higher yield whereas hirsutum varieties they have given good yield in above normal uh, rainfall area in case of hirsutum hybrids they have given uh, good yields in normal uh, rainfall area whereas bt cotton hybrids they have performed very well when the rainfall is above normal of than the average here this is a comparison we have clearly seen in under below normal area out of the four species the out of this uh, the uh, this four different type of groups gossip and arborium they have given highest uh, yield in below normal followed by gossipium hirsutum state varieties that is american cotton state varieties followed by bt cotton hybrids and lowest yield has been given uh, by gossipium hirsutum hybrids so whenever the uh, average, uh, average rainfalls are below uh, below normal in the states of maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh or andhra pradesh we can recommend 
arboreum cotton state varieties so because they are performing very well under below normal areas wherever when the rainfall is normal we can suggest or recommend this bt cotton hybrids under normal uh, normal situation they are giving highest seed cotton yield followed by gossypium hirsutum hybrids whereas the performance of arboreum varieties and hirsutum varieties was similar in normal case, in normal uh, rainfall area and whenever the rainfall is uh, above normal we can go for hirsutum cotton hybrids followed by hirsutum varieties then deshi cotton varieties and hirsutum cotton hybrids the performance of uh, hirsutum hybrid is lowest and uh, arboreum is on uh, third position so whenever the rainfall is under this uh, climatic uh, changing climatic conditions in the cotton cultivating states whenever the hybrid this uh, rainfall is above normal you can recommend the cultivation of bt cotton hybrids and wherever the uh, rainfall is uh, below normal we can go for arboreum cotton cultivation of arboreum cotton varieties so this is the uh, cotton cultivation policy for the next two decades the area under deshi cotton state varieties should be increased up to 30% in the next 20 years and may be promoted in low rainfall areas with medium type of soils as i told that the area under only one species is uh, occupied by more than 98 to 98% and for maintaining proper species balance as we know uh, that uh, out of four cultivated species the only single species occupied 98% area so we have we should increase the area under deshi cotton or uh, this arboreum cotton uh, to the extent of 30% in coming two decades or 20 years so i have to maintain proper species balance and also to conserve this our uh, this deshi cotton species similarly state varieties of american cotton may be transferred in bg1 or bg2 background and promoted under high density uh, high density planting system mainly on medium type of soils to the extent of 30% under intermediate condition whereas intra hirsutum cotton hybrid with bg1 and bg2 background should be promoted under irrigated condition on medium to heavy soil and in assured rainfall zone on heavy soils under rainfed condition to the extent of 40% in coming two decades here as we know at present the area under this bg2 hybrid is more than 98% so we have to reduce up to 40% and this uh, remaining 40% we have to promote american cotton state varieties with bg2 gene and mainly promoted under high density planting system followed by 20% area or 30% area under the issue cotton. Research work on development of uh, certain varieties, state varieties, non-BT may be restricted to research station only for identification of best hybrid combinations for further conversion in BG1 and BG2 version. Overall, there is need to formulate breeding strategies to increase gening outturn in Deshi or American species to the extent of 40%. At present, whatever the hybrids are cultivated in the market, or cultivated in entire country, they are having gening cotton of 35 to 36. So we have to increase the gening cotton of all these cotton hybrids to the extent of 40% so that more lint can be obtained from the seed cotton yield. Gening cotton is nothing but the uh, total lint yield we have uh, obtained from uh, this total seed cotton yield. So this increasing gening cotton is one of the important challenges before us. Still, no categorization or non is available for this state in the country. We have to categorize medium gening autumn, poor gening autumn, and good gening autumn genotypes. That is still lacking. Everybody is uh, telling that our hybrid is very good, having for 38% gening autumn. Wherever the, those having uh, 36, they are also telling that our gening autumn is very good, and we are having 36. Those uh, companies uh, which are selling uh, this. Uh, uh, American cotton hybrids having 34, they are, they are also claiming that gene cotton is very good. So there is need to categorize for this trait in the country. Similarly, there is also need to pay premium price for hygiene cotton varieties and hybrids by the government. Development of strengths of American cotton with BG1 or BG2 background showing tolerance to sucking pest with big, big bowl size around 4 to 5 percent suitable for rainfed condition. These are some of the photographs, Honorable this uh, ex uh, Director General of ICR, Dr. Mahapatra Saab, who visited our trials at uh, Parvani Center. 
these are the some of the bt cotton hybrids which we have converted into bg2 background and uh, next year we are going to launch this are uh, this year we have already launched nhs 715 and next year we are going to launch nhs 250 and bg2 background this is the plot of nhs 44 bg2 this is the state varieties nhs 615 non bt variety developed by our research station this is the another variety nhs 635 having uh, uh, recommended for high density planting system we have converted our both these species into bg1 background similarly as i told that these are the deshi cotton varieties p812 having a staple length of 31 macroniori value is also very fine 4.4 and fiber strength is 30.2 so it will take around 100 years for development of this variety one of the our research station of deshi cotton is located at parbani which was established during 1918. Now it had completed uh, more than 103 years and it will take 100, more than 100 years to increase the staple length from 20 to 30. So for 1 mm increasing 1 mm, it will require 10, uh, 10 years for increasing fiber length to 1 mm. So after 100 years, we can increase the fiber length from 20 to 30. This is the most type of classical uh, research work carried out in our country by conventional breeding method. And at present, as I, I told earlier, that uh, in the uh, entire world, no such varieties of deshi cotton are having fiber uh, length of 31 mm and uh, good fiber strength of 30.2 and with uh, acceptable macronear of 4.4. These all have varieties have been released for central or south zone of the country. This is the recently released our uh, another variety PA785. This is the cotton research station Mahbubak farm where we have completed a celebration for uh, we have done make one program for celebration for completing 100 years at Parbhani that is cotton research station Mahbubak farm. So thank you friends.